Hi there. Okay, so I one of the questions that um, I have here is how to make this main content area over here wider. Now this particular section over here is um, in a columns block um, and I can select that by clicking in here at the very bottom you can see here the breadcrumbs document columns column paragraph. Um, I want to actually select the columns, the outer columns block to select that. And you can see here what the what the content area is, and there's quite a bit of space on the sides. But what if you want to, you know, if you want to actually expand that out to the sides, how would you do that? Just before I get to that, uh, you can also s select the block, and this is important, I'll show you in a minute why. Uh, you can also select the container here by clicking on this link at the top, uh, and then we want to go and select the columns block itself. Now as you can see this columns block is already set to wide width. You can go to full width but that's going to go full bleed and that's not necessarily what you want to do. You maybe want to bring this into maybe 80% width or somewhere about that. So I'm going to put it back to wide width. The solution here is actually to um, place this columns block into a layout grid block. Um, layout grid block has some benefits in terms of layout that will enable us to basically expand that width to more or less whatever we want it to be. So the way we do that firstly is let's select the, out the columns block. So we're going to go back up here, select columns. I've now selected the block. I'm going to insert a block before over here. Now I'm going to add a layout grid block. You'll see it over here. You can also search for it. Layout grid block. And that adds the bare block. And you can add layout grid block works with columns. For this purpose, I'm going to use one column, but you can have different columns for different types of layouts. But I'm going to use one column for this. And there is the full column. You can see the, pair of the vertical lines here. That's the grid itself. And then this is the column within. Now, I want to first move this main content here into the layout grid. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select uh, the column there. This is the columns block that I've selected. I'm going to grab onto it here and I'm going to drag it in to this section here in the layout grid. So now, this is now expanding to fill the space that's available here in this layout grid. Now I can also resize the grid. So to do that I want to actually select the layout grid container and you can see these handles over here. So and I can drag them in and I can make them snap to the, the background line. So I'm going to drag that in here to there for example and drag this in there for example. So now what I've done is I now have the section where I've basically expanded the width of this main content area and you can change it around so we can go back in there select the layout grid we can bring that in a bit or we can take that back out a bit depending on how you want to deal with it. You can even insert additional columns so here is a second column here is the first column and you can adjust sizing so you could bring that right in and bring that out to there if you wanted a different kind of layout. So there are lots of different things that you can do. You could even bring that in a bit. So there's quite a lot that you can actually do there, but let's just take it back a step to where we have just the single column. So this is yeah, this is a quite a convenient way. And what you're doing here is you're using the layout grid um, to essentially expand the available content area here. And you'll see here in the page structure, this is now changed. You have the layout grid with its own column, and within that is the columns block with all of the content that was inside there. Uh, and then by contrast, if you move down here, you'll see actually here is a separate, this is another columns block, but this is a standalone columns block um, that stands outside of the layout grid. Uh, and you could do the same thing. You could actually drag that into the same layout grid block or drag it into a separate one and do the same thing. You know, add the layout grid and essentially expand the width of the content area.